civil rights attorney Aaron Siri, the managing partner at Siri and Glimstad. Mr. Siri, thank you for coming on. I just want to point out that it was 463 days, you tell us, from the time that you requested this vSafe data. vSafe is a CDC program where you just kind of report how you're doing after you got the vaccine. 463 days to get it. Why did it take so long in your estimation, sir? It's a very good question. Why did it take numerous legal demands, multiple appeals, two lawsuits, in fact, before the CDC finally handed over the vSafe data, which is already de-identified data for the most part that they provided just two days ago, 144 million lines of code that they could have provided in a matter of minutes at any point? It's a great question. Maybe the answer is, is that now that we have that data and we've looked at that data, of the 10 million users within vSafe, 7.7% uh -huh. of them had to seek medical care after vaccination. That is an incredibly high percentage, it appears to me. Yeah, and, and I, if I can, and sir, I'm sure I just there want to put this graphic up to kind of follow along with you. You're right. 7.7 .7 required sure. medical care. I'm talking about emergency rooms, hospitalizations. There it is right there. And on top of that, not yeah. to, to go you one better, but this is your information, another 2.5 million, we're talking 25%, missed work or school or had bad reactions to the vaccine. What's the takeaway for you from this? Is it significant? Significant? It is. Uh, it seems incredibly significant. A big reason that they pushed the COVID vaccine is they said, look, not everybody's going to get, you know, seriously injured by COVID, but for many, it'll prevent them from having symptoms, being hospitalized, mm -hmm. uh, missing work. Well, now that we have the data, we could see that getting the vaccine caused 25 percent of people who got the shot within mm -hmm. this data set of 10 million people to miss work, to have some of serious event affecting their normal life functions. Yeah. And you also put it But I do out, leave it to folks like Marty. Yeah, you pointed out that 4 I was just going to say, I leave it to people, folks like Marty McCat. Yeah. 4 million people no, had, had reports of joint pain. I know you've got a lot of information and you want to share it, and, and, and we want to hear it. You're exactly <laughs> right. And Marty McCary is a, is a great expert on these types of things, and, and he's a doctor. And yeah, right. I mean, there's some concern when you have 4 million people uh, reporting joint pain after they got the vaccine. Right. It's, and it's not just that it's 4 million. It's that it's 4 million out of a group of only 10 million people. So that, that makes that number extremely high. And of those 4 million that reported joint pain, you know, joint pain is an immune reaction. That is something to be concerned about after vaccination. About 2 million of those were moderate, not mild, but moderate joint mm -hmm. pains, and 400,000 of them were severe joint pain. This is a shot that's intended to help folks who are more elderly, those are the folks susceptible to COVID. Making their joints swell, potentially mm -hmm. causing long-term issues, that's not a good idea. Yeah, I got to go here, but just want to know, is, this, is it your sense here that this information leads you to believe that one vaccine is better than another, or is it too early to know that right now? Well, actually, uh, that's, that's an interesting question. All of the data has been put up by the, our client, who we represented in this case, ICANDECIDE.org. And on their website, they've created this amazing, uh, easy-to-use, simple interface where you can search all this data. Yeah. And one of the tools that you can use is they can look by vaccine. And in fact, the Moderna vaccine, interestingly, even though less shots of it were administered, appears within this data set to have a higher rate of adverse effects. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Siri, thank you for coming on, sir. Come back when you have more information and, and we'll talk about it. Thank you.